Hi everyone, I recently did a video about the pending eruption in Iceland on the Reykjanes Peninsula. It's still been a waiting game, but people say that uh, scientists on the island, that this thing could erupt at any moment, certainly in the next few hours, next few days, perhaps at most the next few weeks, but, but we'll see. So I wanted to do an update on what's been happening and in particular, what kind of measures have they been implementing to try and minimize potential damage. But again, there seems no doubt that there's going to be an eruption. Magma has been accumulating in the crust below the ground surface along a 10 mile swath to uh, you know, several miles north of Grindavik, the uh, fishing town on the coast. And the dike appears to extend out into the ocean, although it's theorized that most likely the eruption will occur on land. So again, in this video, I'm gonna focus on some of these details about the pending eruption, but more importantly, I wanna discuss the mitigation measures that are being taken in an effort to either prevent or minimize potential damage from lava. The main areas of concern are the Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa north of Grindavik, as well as the associated geothermal power plant that provides power to 30,000 people in Iceland, and then the town of Grindavik itself. So what are the worst case scenarios here? It could be that a large amount of lava could engulf Blue Lagoon and the geothermal plant, or even the town of Grindavik itself. The other issue at hand is what seems to be a pending eruption at any time could actually take several weeks or months to occur, which will definitely delay people getting back to their lives in the town of Grindavik, even if the town were to be spared of any lava flows. Another highly undesirable outcome would be if the eruption occurs in the ocean, which produces more explosive eruptions and large plumes of ash. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Casey Jones. I'm a professional engineer and geologist registered in several states. I like to cover big stories in engineering and geology and how they impact society. If you like this kind of content, please support this channel by hitting those like, subscribe, and notification buttons. There was a volcanic eruption in Iceland in 2021 that occurred below a glacier. The noteworthy thing about that eruption was that the volcanologists observed that the number and intensity of earthquakes decreased dramatically right before the eruption occurred. And this was in comparison to the larger earthquakes and the swarms of earthquakes, hundreds and thousands in the weeks preceding the eruption. We are seeing the exact same pattern in Grindavik, although it remains to be seen when the eruption will occur and if the seismic activity continues to abate, but that seems to be the pattern here. The earthquakes that started as a result of this magma intrusion started about two weeks ago and has caused significant damage to the infrastructure and buildings in the town of Grindavik. Grindavik is a town of 4,000 people that's been evacuated. Even more damage has been caused by ground fissures that have opened up throughout the town. The eruption is expected to be a fissure type eruption anywhere along the line of intrusion of the magma. Current estimates suggest that the eruption might start in an area east of the Blue Lagoon Spa and Power Plant. Here's some footage of a fissure eruption previously in Iceland, not in this exact area, as well as a fissure eruption in Hawaii at Mauna Loa. And here's a view of what's going on underground. Magma, which is molten rock, is pushing up from the top of the mantle through the Earth's crust. It's forcing its way into the rocks of the crust, which is causing existing cracks to widen and new cracks to form, which is generating the earthquakes. In the case of this figure, the magma is moving up a vertical pipe, or dike as it's called. In the case of the pending eruption in Iceland, the lava, as it nears the Earth's crust, is moving sideways in the form of a horizontal dike or sill, such as you can see on the right-hand side of this figure. Previous eruptions in this area of the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland occurred 800 years ago. Given that Grindavik has been evacuated, officials have started to implement potential mitigation measures by placing a soil berm at the perimeter of the power plant and spa to hopefully divert any flowing lava away from the area. I also saw one report that indicated that similar dikes are being constructed up, uh, up slope or north of Grindavik, but I haven't seen any independent confirmation in terms of photos or videos of that. You know, I think it's reasonable to attempt to implement these mitigation measures, but it's certainly not without risk to the construction workers, given that nobody knows for sure where, when, and how big this eruption is going to be. Also, there's no guarantee that these mitigation measures will even work or even be needed, but I think it's worthwhile to make the attempt at providing more protection to important infrastructure and to the town of Grindavik. It's been reported that officials have been using a D11 Caterpillar dozer to construct these berms. Apparently this is the largest piece of earth moving equipment that's on the island of Iceland. But you know, it appears that the people of Iceland are really experienced in dealing with these type of volcanic issues. 
Uh, but anyway, you look at it, the people of Grindavik probably won't be able to go back to their home for many weeks or even months. So at this point, only time will tell how this will all unfold. But this story serves as a reminder how humans must constantly adapt to dynamic changes on the Earth. Be sure to download your free digital copy of my biggest civil engineering disasters of the last 100 years. And thanks for watching.